Hey everybody, Ann here. It's dark. I wasn't going to do a video today because all I've been doing is basically complaining about the heat. Um, I did do all my chores today and did a couple other things, but nothing worthy of, you know, filming. And I hope you can hear because I got a fan going. It's been hot all day and it has just been awful. Um, so I hope you don't mind the fan. But anyhow, um, what I want to talk to you about is... Uh, well, I don't get a whole lot of chance to watch YouTube videos from other homesteading channels. I really only follow a couple, but one came up in my recommendations, and I'd never heard of this channel before. So I clicked it on, and the video was basically entirely complaining about other homesteading and prepper channels. Um, you know, I... I do agree there's a lot of alarmists out there, and y'all know I don't like alarmists, you know. Um, and But the individual just was complaining about the whole thing. And then um, the channel owner said that they were going to start calling people out and putting them on blast. And all in the name of a good Christianity, coming from a good Christian background. Um and then I did the wrong thing. I clicked on a follow-up uh, link to it. And, um, yeah. Uh, although they they didn't put on blast, as they said it, the actual YouTube channels they were talking about. Because I don't think, um, I don't think the individuals have the courage to do such a thing. Um, because they know they're wrong. Uh, everybody comes from a different perspective. Everybody believes a certain way, thinks a certain way. Um, part of the beauty of the First Amendment is we all get to say what we think, so long as it's not, um, you know, harmful. Uh, free speech does have consequences, and sometimes, you know, if you say s stupid stuff, well, you're going to win stupid prizes. But um, anyhow, what was I saying? I got off on a tangent. Yeah, so this this channel was complaining about alarmist channels, and, and, and I don't like alarmist channels either. That's why I don't like watch a lot of other homesteading channels. Um, I do watch Groovy Eggs. Yeah, Jeff from Bobblehead, used to be Bobblehead. I do watch Lena's. Um, I don't comment on their videos. I just don't have the time, but I always watch and give them a thumbs up. Um, but I don't think it's anyone's place... To put anyone on blast because you think that you are so high um, up in the rank of homesteading on YouTube. But um, it's not for me to judge whether or not that was a Christian thing to do. Um, that's between them and God. But I don't know. I, 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 I've got a verse in my head. Uh, Mary, you got to pull it out of my head for me. Um, something to do with, well, I mean, well, basically the book of James, you know, I did a whole video on it, you know, use your words carefully and, um, gossip, well, it'll get you clicks <laughs> and, um, complaining and, uh, call out videos will get you clicks. But if you're doing it in the name of Christianity, well, then you won't be doing it in, in the way that it's been done. And I've had other channel. I've watched other channels who have done this, and I, I immediately don't recommend this channel. Don't recommend this channel. Not interested. You know, I have to do it several times until I quit seeing their videos. But um, I just don't think that it's up to. It, it would be like me um, criticizing somebody else for how they raise their chickens, and you know, calling them out uh, publicly for it. There's so many different ways to homestead. There's so many different ways to um, prepare, um, to permaculture, all of those kinds of things. There's so many different ways to do things and we all come from a certain perspective, different backgrounds, and I'm trying to keep my face in the frame. I'm not used to filming in the dark. Um, and I don't feel, I got it resting on my knees so I don't have to hold it up. Uh, I should get my tripod. Anyhow, um, <sighs> It isn't for any of us to criticize other homesteading channels. Well, I'm kind of a hypocrite because remember I did that homestead that, that video about modern homesteading, um, uh, criticizing the hoochie mamas. Well, I don't know. Maybe that was warranted. Maybe that was wrong. 
but I don't think you need to stand in a pair of uh, Daisy Dukes uh, straddling a piece of farm equipment I mean, call yourself a homesteading channel, but that's just me. Um, <laughs> but as far as criticizing other people's beliefs, the, the information that they put out, um, if you don't like it, just don't watch it. You don't have to do anything to try and stop it. Um, the people, every different channel has a different appeal. I don't know what my appeal is. I don't know why y'all watch my videos. Um, because I'm just like the jankiest homesteader there is. I should change my channel name to Anne's Janky Homestead. Um, but I'm coming along, yeah? I, I think I'm coming along. And I do, I innovate some things here and there. But, um, I don't know. I, I've seen other channels and I've seen things that I didn't quite understand and I didn't think was just exactly on target. But who am I to call them out and put them on blast um, just because I kind of like don't agree with the way they do things or I don't agree with you know how they're telling people to prepare for the future um, like I said I don't like alarmists I don't like alarming type videos the chicken alarmists are the worst you know I will totally just psh, and I, I think that's why I like Jeff at Groovy Eggs so much because he's not an alarmist. He's just going to tell you the truth. And um, he doesn't try and, you know, scare you. Um, he's just a good, gentle dude. Um, he gives you good information in a gentle way, and I like that. Uh, but when you get somebody who's standing up, acting like a bully, complaining about other people who they think are bullies, and beating their chests about how they are so great at this, that, and the other. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of put off by that. And I don't think we should do that. I, I just think, um, and that's why I don't reach out to a lot of other homesteading channels. And I don't go to homesteading gatherings. and Because um, the whole homesteading thing can be very, very cliquish. It, it, and I've, I've learned this. And um, if you're out, they they in-group you and they out-group you, just like any other group. Um, and if you don't fit in, well, they're, then you're going to be in the out-group. And I would p persistently be in the out-group. So I, I just kind of keep to myself as far as, you know, homesteading, preparing, growing, whatever it is that I'm doing out here. Um, because... I think that I would probably end up liking some of the people they hate, <laughs> you know? Uh, I'm, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being contrary, but um, I just wanted to share that with you. Let's, let's all just kind of like be good to one another instead of uh, bully and try and slap, out, slap down and uh, put people on blast because for everything you think you know, there's somebody else that knows more than you about that very same subject. So uh, just like tamp down on that whole ego, okay? And uh, just be good to one another. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.